fire burned through the top floor of an apartment building at St. Andrew's Place and 6th Street today. Everyone got out safely, but all the families who live in the apartment must now find someplace else to stay. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia is live at the scene in Koreatown. Sid? The location is the Versailles Apartments directly behind me here. Most of the firefighters are gone. It's been a very interesting 24-hour period here, starting with the fire in the manager's office yesterday, shots fired this morning, and then this morning's blaze. Now, while many thought it was deliberately set, LA City Fire says it looks like this one was an accident. More than 100 residents were rushed out of the building as firefighters went up to battle the blaze on the upper floors. Scary is how some of the evacuees put it after first hearing gunshots around 6 this morning, then a couple hours later, the fire alarms. I was just getting my coffee going, just getting the press going, just getting ready to feed her, and then bang, bang, and it was just like, grab your wallet, grab your phone, get the heck out of here. And I ran down the steps with her. And we lived through an apartment fire before, and so it's not like... It's not as scary, I think, for us as it is for some of the other people around here. But, um, you know, we got us out, we got the pets out, that's all that really matters. Arson and ATF investigators are here looking into what caused this morning's fire. Residents say there was a fire in the manager's office early yesterday morning. That's being looked into. This morning's fire was contained to the attic area. When the firefighters got inside the building, what they found was the attic was totally involved in fire, but they were successful in confining the fire to the attic, and right now we're basically dealing with uh, uh, salvage problems, water problems throughout the building. It's been a nerve-wracking 24 hours for the residents of the Versailles apartment complex. Sabrina Machado and her dog Pierre moved in only three weeks ago. I like it. I don't want to move again, you know. This could happen anywhere. Scary. Pretty intense, but I grabbed the two most important things, myself and my dog. And you're all right. Yes, sir. Nobody was injured, though one person was taken to a nearby hospital because he was suffering from shortness of breath. The Red Cross has set up a shelter at the new RFK Community Schools Gymnasium. This while management over the weekend assesses the damage and also to see if anybody can come back to live. Reporting live from Koreatown, I'm Sid Garcia. ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you very much, Sid.